So I talk a lot about tea. And uh, so I thought we'd talk about tea today. When I talk about tea, occasionally I do fine English china with cream and sugar, occasionally. But more often than not, when I talk about tea, I'm talking about Chinese tea or the Chinese art of pouring tea skillfully, hopefully, uh, which is called Gung Fu Cha. And I want to talk a little bit about Gung Fu Cha and how I got into Gung Fu Cha and how you can get into Gung Fu Cha if you want and how you can experiment very, very cheaply to find out if Gung Fu Cha is something that you might like to do more of. So when I first started pouring tea, well, when I first started drinking tea, I thought I'm never going to be interested in learning how to do this. I went to a little place called the Tea Spot. It was basically a closet <laughs> behind Spider House in Austin. And um it was it was very very small. You could you could fit 30 people in there standing room only. Um with people, you know, passing Tea, little teacups behind them over their shoulders or the people standing backed up against the wall behind them and one tea server trying to pour tea for all these people in this tiny little closet below the tattoo parlor and um and I would pay ten dollars a night to go there and drink whatever whoever was pouring and and it was just delightful there were always you know it, you get some really interesting people when when the people that you are calling into being are the people who are willing to stand crowded together in a closet for ten dollars drinking tiny cups of tea that somebody is handing them from a tiny table on the floor in the middle. Um, you get some very very interesting people and you get some very good musicians and you get some philosophy majors and you get some people who are really into tea and it just turns out that I really like a lot of people who are really into tea. So um, I would go there every night and it was not every night but many several nights a week and it was it was truly wonderful and and magical and I thought this is great I'm happy to come here and not learn how to do this myself. And then Sean, my boyfriend, actually uh, got himself a little travel set. So long story short, Sean got a tea set he started pouring tea at home, and once there was tea being poured in my house, I could no longer resist, and I had to learn how to do it. And it was like, he'd get the set out to pour, and I'd be like, can I have a turn? Can I pour this one? Can I pour this one? Can I pour this steeping? Can I pour the next tea? <laughs> and um, I think he was happy to have somebody else doing it. He just wanted to have tea at home. And uh, he does... He does like to pour tea. He does like to pour tea. And he does pour tea at home still. Uh, probably, maybe maybe more often than I do. Maybe at, at least as often as I do. He pours tea most mornings that I don't pour tea for him. I think he pours tea at work a little bit. I don't know. So anyway, if you know for sure that you definitely want to get into Gung Fu Cha, it's definitely worth it to invest in a Gaiwan and a Gung Dao Bay and tea wear as you can afford it. But if you're just experimenting or if you just can't afford to invest in tea wear right now, which I totally understand, you can actually pour tea with a hot to go cup and a Pyrex measuring cup. And I'm going to show you <laughs> and we're going to do this together because I want people to get into tea. I want people to be able to get into tea at a very low cost, low risk. And I, um, I think that this makes it accessible to try out basically for free because most people have a Pyrex measuring cup like this or something similar in your home. Just something kind of small with a pour spout. Or you might have like a creamer pitcher. Um, if you have that, that would work fine. Um, this is not ideal, but this will work as a guy one. Um, 
what uh, the purpose of a gaiwan is gaiwan means lidded bowl so it's it's a bowl here with a lid and the lid it usually it comes with a saucer but it doesn't have to you don't have to have a saucer you can pour you just create an aperture or an opening here between the lid and the base and then you pour the liquid out and the lid keeps the leaves in and the benefit of using a gaiwan instead of a teapot you have a lot more control to experiment you can lift up the lid and you can really see very well what's going on in there you can smell the lid see what you think you can really watch the tea as it does its thing and try and figure out this is and a gaiwan is really the best way to learn a new tea rather than trying to pour it straight away in a teapot this glass gaiwan has the added benefit of you can even without taking the lid off, you can see what's going on in there because it's clear and it's glass. Um, it's not actually a great guy one because it will do that at the touch of a hair, but it does the job. I think it was about $15 on Amazon and if you're, if you're wanting to learn and that appeals to you, that's a thing that you can get. Um, but the to-go cup will do the job if you're experimenting. This is actually a heat safe, plastic my tea teacher is probably like shuddering that I'm about to pour hot good tea out of a plastic to-go cup but um and that's what I'm gonna do because I think that this should work just fine and I, I have done this at work with paper to-go cups I tried to pour uh, I'm not gonna say anything else about that okay so this is charcoal roasted chicken. So what you do need, if you, what you probably do need to purchase or have access to, um, is good tea that's going to be easy to pour as a beginner and good water. Because if you don't have good water, that will really mess up your tea. Um, I also really recommend getting a gooseneck kettle. This one is by Osaka. I just got my dad a similar one uh, for like $30 or $40 on Amazon. And you don't have to. If you have any sort of way to boil water, you can make good tea. But if you do want to get into this, I do recommend a, an electric kettle with a gooseneck like this. This really makes... It gives you a lot more control over the tea. But this is an, this is charcoal roasted Che Guanyin from West China Tea or from, I get mine from Guanyin Tea House. And if you're in Austin, you should get yours from Guanyin Tea House. But um, otherwise you can order it on the West China Tea website and I'll put all these links down below. Uh, this is a $15 an ounce tea. It's uh, really, really good. I, I've never met anyone who didn't like it, who liked any tea at all. Like if you like tea, I like this tea. It's very roasty. It's very chocolatey. It's like it's it's uh, flavor profile is very middle of the road. It's not gonna like be weird to anyone. There's nothing weird about it. It's just homey and comfortable and roasty and like campfires and chocolate and s'mores and it's delicious. And um, I'll show you how much I put in here. It's a rolled oolong, but it's a roasted rolled oolong. And I'm not, usually you choose your amount for the size of the vessel, um, but this is a huge vessel and I'm not going to fill this all the way up. I'm maybe gonna fill this up this much also because I'm just one person here drinking. Um, and so I think that just kind of covering the bottom about like that, that should be enough. And it does cover the bottom when it's upright. Anyhow, that's how much I'm gonna put in there. It's not gonna expand a whole lot. That might not be quite enough, um, but you have to experiment to find what you like. And there's the tea that I'm pouring, just so you can see. And I did already heat water. Um, so we're just gonna do this and I'm just gonna show you how this is done. Uh, you do want to wake up the teaware first, actually, and I skipped this step, but I'm not going to do it with the cup because I've already put the tea in there. I am going to wake this up because I think this will really cool down the tea very fast. It's a big, big hunk of glass. 
Um, you also need something that you can pour waste liquid into. I'm just pouring on a little dishcloth so that if there's any liquid on the bottom of my vessel or any small spills, it gets caught up. And I have another one next to me so that I can pat dry or pat dry the bottom. Um, I do also have a teacup that I'm going to be using today, but you can use a shot glass works just fine um and this is just a regular drinking glass i was gonna use it for aquawebe but i forgot to get a shui feng which is where you put i'll do a video on like proper gung fu cha later but i just want to show you how you can do this at home cheaply easily with stuff that you probably already have okay so now i'm gonna pour this is woken up now or so we say I'm going to cover the leaves, make sure they're all wet, and it's filled up just about to where I said it was going to be. I think it's filled up to about here. And, oh, it smells so chocolatey and good. And I probably could actually, because this one has bigger leaves, I could probably just pour it through the thing, through the spout. You pretty much can, actually. This is really, this is, wow. So I lost like two little leaves pouring it through the, the drinking hole in the to-go cup lid. We're gonna taste it, see if it tastes like plastic. I don't think it will. I think they're getting pretty good at plastic these days. Um, and for old time's sake, we'll drink it in a shot glass actually. And I definitely got a leaf in my cup, and it's not super pro, but I bet you this is still going to be good tea. It's even the rinse. It's even the rinse, and I like it. This tea is always like a hug. Tamara asked me that. She was like, which tea is your hug tea like when you need a hug what tea do you drink and just without like with i didn't even have to think about it i was just like chocolate washed chicken onion it's like it's like chocolate hot chocolate around a campfire and i know that that's a that's a flavor description but it's also I, it's also a chi description like when I describe tea poetically, I'm not necessarily describing the flavor. That and that's that's why you drink good tea. It's not for the flavor. I really enjoy the flavor aspect of good tea and this is good tea. And I'm going to pour the rest of the rinse out not because it's not good, but because I want to get through this video. And the next one's going to be better, and I want to show you what it does as, it, as we continue to go through this tea. So I'm taking the lid off. Um, and this time, even though I'll probably, mo for the, most of the rest of this tea, I'll continue pouring it um, through the drinking hole like I just did. This time, I want to show you how it could be done with another tea um, that maybe has smaller leaves. So you can, oh, you, the, and with a to-go cup, you really do, would have to do this with two hands and get a sleeve, by the way, if you don't have a thick cup. Um, but just with a thin aperture there, and you can control it and control how much liquid comes through. And I mean, no, this is not super pro. It's pretty dribbly. But this tea is really good, and it's really hard to mess up. And that's why I recommend this one is because it's really hard, as good teas go, this is hard to oversteep. It's not even bad when it's understeeped. It's not even bad when it's weak. It's not bad when it's too strong. If it gets bitter, it's probably mostly covered up. Like it's hard to get it bitter because it's so roasted. And it's just, it's, um, you, can, you can be rough on it. You don't have to pour the water super gently on the leaves. You can shake it up and and it'll stay happy and it'll stay delicious. And this is, see, this is getting to be a slightly darker color than the last one. That's good, that's what it should do. 
quick interlude. The point of this whole video is that this tea is the sort of tea that would even be really good just in a mug. You know, you could put it, you could put it in a little mesh tea ball and steep it in a mug or a teapot or whatever and just pour it out once and enjoy it and it would be good. But you can get so much more out of it if you do it this way. The multiple steepings process, the way that it allows a tea to open and express itself, you get so much more out of that tea than you would if you just steeped it once or twice in a mug and a whole lot of water and drank it. And there are other teas that will not show themselves to you in a mug. They will not reveal themselves to you in one or two big overwatered steepings. They won't. Uh, it's and it's not. It's a. It would be a waste of good tea to try and do it that way. And I think that I think that it is worth it. If if you do find that this intrigues you, I think it is worth it to pursue learning how to pour tea well, so that you can give yourself and the people in your community the experience of drinking really good tea. And that's a, that's part of the beauty of Gung Fu Cha is that you get to experience the way that a tea opens and it'll kind of tell you its story. And it changes both in flavor and in chi. And when I say chi, I mean, uh, just the way that it makes you feel. In your, in your body and in your head and in your heart. And, and the, the tea pourers that, have, that I've seen explain this, they say like, you know, pay attention to where you feel it in your body. Do you feel it go down your throat? Do you feel it open into your chest? Or do you feel it perhaps open into your head? And maybe as you start to listen for these things, you'll feel like you're making it up. And maybe you are. But I think you just have to learn to listen for these things. And I think tea, really learning to pour tea and just drinking good Gung Fu Cha if you have somebody else to pour it for you, um, I think will we'll really... It's really helped me listen to my intuition, learning to listen to the tea itself. Let's drink this. Mm. And it's almost even, there's like a fruity sweetness as well. It's hard to describe. It's hard to describe. But it's good. It's good. My, what my point is, is that I'm enjoying this tea no less than I usually do. And I just poured it out of a Yellowstone reusable plastic to-go cup that I got a chai tea latte in at Yellowstone. And a, what's that? Old Faithful Inn. And a Pyrex measuring cup that I got for like $4 at a thrift store or antique store or something and a shot glass that my boyfriend has had since before I knew him. And it's so good. Seriously guys, get into tea. It'll be good for your intuition. It'll be good for your health if you're not super sensitive to caffeine. Or, you know, you can branch out and try other things as you learn what you like. And I talk a lot about tea on my Instagram. If you watch my stories, I usually talk about whatever tea that I'm drinking. Um, so you can start to get a feel for like what are the options out there for different kinds of tea and what sounds good to you and what you might like to try. And I usually talk about whether they're easy or difficult to pour also. And so I would... Oh, You just have to be with the tea. And now I'm actually gonna move this into... No man, we're gonna do this this way. Wash fewer dishes. And we're, we're proving a point here. I'm proving a point to the world. 
that good gung fu cha can be done in a plastic to go cup because I think it's true. I'll swirl it a little bit because this is a tougher tea, it's going to handle it. And we pour. Oh, that's a beautiful pour. That's really a beautiful pour. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. I'm going to drink this last cup of tea and then I'm going to leave you with a lot to think about. Mm. And the great thing about this is that I'm probably, after I turn this record button off, I'm probably going to sit here and steep this at least six more times because I know this is a good tea that lasts a long time. And as you get into lo later, you know, the longer, the more steepings in you are, the longer you want each steeping to be after a certain point because you're you're kind of trying to draw out the, really the chemicals in the tea that are beneficial and flavorful that you're trying to drink. That's what you're drinking is the stuff that you can get out of the leaves with the hot water. And so as you continue on, all the stuff that's really easy to get out has already come out in these early steepings and you want to steep longer to get in the thing, to get out the things that are nested a little deeper in. Anyhow. Mm. Oh, thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this little chat about tea and makeshift gung fu cha and how you can do gung fu cha for like almost free plus the cost of tea, Please let me know in the comments below what you thought and what you learned and what other questions you have and what you'd like to learn. And if you try any of this at home, please let me know how it goes. Um, I would love to hear from you. I think that would just make my day to know that somebody was out there trying Gung Fu Cha because of me. And uh, come back, you know. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to come back for more and join me for more of this later. And very, very seriously, if you do comment down below letting me know what you like and what you want more of, I will make an effort to put that up here. I mean, I, I'm doing this for you guys. This isn't... Um, I mean, I do do it for fun. But I do it because... I want to reach people, so if I'm reaching you, help me keep reaching you. Be my friend. Let's do this together. I love you all so much. See you soon.